hello, hello, hello everyone, Zildjian here with another ASMR video. Here we got some McDonald's, two McChickens and six McNuggets. Yeah, because it was a, my aunt bought it for me, yeah. Well, the, yeah. My cousin ate the chicken McNuggets and then there's some leftover, so, and then also I got some two McChickens. Yeah, I don't know why they they don't eat hamburgers or something every time. They, every now, every once in a while, they give me some McDonald's. And it's always just chicken nuggets and McChickens. I don't know why they don't eat the Mc, uh, the hamburgers, the, the cheeseburgers, anything. Why is it always McChickens? Yeah. They don't eat the fish fillet, they don't eat the cheeseburgers, they only eat the McChickens. I don't know why. But hey, yo, it's free and it's McDonald's. It's, I don't really eat junk food that much. So yeah, I can't complain, right? Beggars can't be choosers. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, I guess it'll be easier if I just eat the chicken nuggets first. So yeah, because once I unwrap this and then the wrapper, I'll need space to put the wrapper. Obviously the food is cold, but like I said, don't really care. I mean, it still tastes good. There's like a hint of salt in. I mean, I mean, obviously it's salty, but there's a hint of spiciness. I don't know if the family put any like herbs on it. I mean, seasoning. Maybe it's just the the McNugget itself has some spicy. These spices, pepper on it. Did I say spices? <laughs> spices. No soda, just plain old regular water. Which is fine because water is healthier anyway. These nuggets are like perfectly shaped. I have a bunch of these oval ones, and here's two that's like a boot. I did watch that How I Make Chicken McNuggets video is how they're made. And yet there's like distinctive shapes. And this says real chicken meat, not pink slime. Although pink slime is real chicken meat, it's just grind it up a bazillion times. Apparently pink slime is mostly for hamburgers, mostly for ground beef. I bought tons of ground beef from my local grocery. I couldn't tell if it was pink slime or not. I mean, it tastes fine when you make burgers out of it. This is definitely chicken breast. Look how white the meat is. There's one thing I don't like about the chicken nuggets and chicken patties and stuff. It's very dry. I'm sure the, the breading and the bread and the water does not mix well, but whatever. Yeah, that's why I prefer the cheeseburger, the hamburger over the McChicken. Chicken's gonna taste really dry. Chicken nugget, at least it's smaller piece. 
is a smaller piece so it doesn't taste as dry I don't know like the breading kind of breaks up the chicken I mean the breading is obviously still dry but I'm gonna just stop talking I think I'm about to choke <laughs> that's not funny I think the problem is too dry. This honestly tastes like fried chicken. <clears throat> it's really the meat is really dry and the skin is like it tastes like the fried chicken skin. It definitely tastes a bit different from the Purdue chicken nuggets. Those are the ones I usually eat. Yeah, this does not taste like the Purdue chicken nugget breading. Doesn't even look like it. This looks like fried chicken skin. Tastes like it too. There we go, we got the mixed chicken. And inside, it's, there's a chicken patty. There's, I, I guess that's mayonnaise. I think, yeah, there's some lettuce in there. And there's definitely some seasonings, you know, those black pieces on the chicken. You can see that, right? Oh, the bread is like burnt. Just because this is my hand. One hand hold a plate so it doesn't spill all over my room. Probably would have tasted less dry if it was still hot, you know. Or still warm. Yeah, the bread tastes burnt too. I mean, it is bread, burnt. Definitely not enough lettuce. Can can't even taste it. Always tastes the chicken and the bread and some mayonnaise. The bread tastes really bad. I like eating toasted bread, but that's just way too burnt.
Don't know if you heard that. There's a kid screaming outside. <clears throat> oh my god. Definitely have to eat that a little slower. Almost choked on the bread. Here's the last one. It's the same thing, obviously, with chicken. Bread also super bird. Maybe not super burnt, but it is burnt. Even though I'm complaining and I don't really like it, <laughs> I still enjoy eating it. <laughs> so grateful for my aunt for giving it to me. Would appreciate appreciate it even more if it was a hamburger, a cheeseburger. They don't eat fries, they don't eat hamburgers. Isn't that the point of going to McDonald's? Only chicken nuggets and McChickens. Do you eat McDonald's or fast burger, fast food burger joints? What kind of foods do you eat at them? I mean, I wouldn't eat. It's not like I prefer to make uh, fries because it's just carbs, so it's even worse than the chicken nugget. But that's like classic McDonald's. Classic bird food. <clears throat> oh. In the you know rare times I do go to Burger King or McDonald's or Wendy's, I just get the regular burger. Just the cheapest cheeseburger. Don't get no soda, don't get no fries, don't get no chicken McNuggets. Just get the cheapest burger. And usually if it's cheap enough, I'll get two even. Because like the regular burger is going to cost like $4. And it's just a little bit bigger. But usually you can get like for $2 or less, you can get a, a smaller burger. So we can get like two for one, pretty much. Like two of the small burgers is definitely bigger, more meat, more bread, more everything than the one of the big burger. It's not even a big burger. It's more like a medium burger. And then the big burgers, the specialty burgers, those are like five, six dollars or something. And you have to, if you add the soda and the fries and etc., it costs even more. Well, the expensive burgers, they come with like sesame buns. But if you think about it, it's like, oh, you're paying, you're paying $2 more for this burger and all you get is some sesame seeds. 
and a slightly bigger patty and a slightly bigger bun. You're paying like double the amount for slightly more. Okay, maybe not slightly more, but like you're paying like double the amount for like less than double. You're paying double the cost for less than double the amount of food, pretty much. Honestly, it'd just be cheaper to just go to the grocery store, buy some buns, buy some ground beef, make your own burgers. And any toppings to your liking. Like, there's no pickles in this. Wait, this is not, this is not a burger. That's why <laughs> there's no pickles. You make your own burger. You're gonna have all the meat you want, all the pickles you want, all the ketchup and mayonnaise. Burger isn't that hard to make, it's just really messy. <laughs> all the grease and the, all the wet vegetables, wet ingredients. It's most of the grease from the burger. I mean, if you like McChickens, you just go buy some chicken patties and some sesame buns. Add some condiments and you're set. So full. Oh, look at my stomach. <laughs> that was dumb. Hopefully, it made you laugh or something. So, yeah, that's pretty much all the time we got for this episode. <laughs> Hopefully, everyone's enjoying this series. Oh, if you like or dislike this video, be sure to let me know down below. Subscribe, comment, rate the video. How do you feel about, you know, fast food, burgers and stuff and chicken nuggets and McChicken. So, yeah, as always, thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye bye.